Welcome to the channel. Today we have the Gourmia Food Station to review. It's an indoor cooking appliance. It's a smokeless grill and air fryer all in one. If this is able to perform as expected. This is gonna uh, replace a lot of different appliances in your kitchen. I got it most importantly for the smokeless grill because I'm really interested in doing indoor grilling. I don't have to go outside in the rain. But you're also supposed to be able to air fry, bake, roast, and dehydrate all in one appliance. And it doesn't have a large footprint. When this was shipped to me, it was shipped in an outer box. Um, so they, I do like when companies ship it like that because then it kind of makes sure that their products protected. It does come well packaged. Fryer. I like this lid that comes off. You see that? That's nice for cleaning. I like that. Tell you what, I'm, I'm impressed how it looks. It has a nice look to it. Doesn't take up too much space, yet there's a lot of room here. I'm interested in get grilling, so take out the air fry tray. Put in the grilling tray. Here we have the drip tray. I like how you pull it out. It's not even on, it tells you the drip tray is out. And this is detachable. Throw that right in the dishwasher. Like that. Slides in easy with one hand. And here again are our settings we have one touch air fry roast bake dehydrate you can preheat of course your stop and start then you have your grill and you have your smoke extractor if you're using it uh, trying to get the smokeless grill option you can see it's quite a large cooking area cut up this beef skirt steak and throw it on the grill We'll preheat the grill by touching grill. I want to do it for eight minutes. Cooking time. Start. Shut the lid. Listen to that. Plenty of room on the grill. All good so far. You don't see any smoke coming out. I set the timer for eight minutes. It's supposed to beep halfway through. There we go. Turn food. There's still no smoke even though when I opened it. I am really impressed there is no smoke coming out anywhere. I thought I might have seen a little bit come out this side here. Oh, there's one little bit there. So there is a tiny bit of smoke coming out the side here. I don't even think I can pick it up on a camera. It's almost impossible to see. That's a good looking steak. See the drip tray, got a little bit on there. Tell you what, this might have been the easiest steak I've ever made. That was no work. I didn't have to go outside. Now that we've left this claw off a little bit, I'll take this out to clean. I like these handles here. Makes it very easy to pull this out. See the drip tray underneath. I just cleaned up from the steak. Typically I would just 
take these plates off and just throw them right in the dishwasher, but I wanted to hand wash them to see how difficult it would be. And they cleaned up relatively easy with minimal effort. So put my fish tray back in. Air fry. Let's try these French fries. Air fry, go 16, start. It's preheating. Okay, we got our beef that has been preheated. Spread these fries out. That's solid on the video or not, but this is normally displayed solid, but my video seems to be recording it as blinking, which this is not blinking whatsoever. I don't know if you can hear it turn off yet. This is probably the quietest kitchen appliance I presently own. This is very quiet. Now this fry came out just like I like it. I like it a little bit more on the well done side. That worked great. You can definitely air fry these and they still taste good. The gourmet also comes with a recipe book with different recipes, which is nice if, if you're not used to an air fryer. Um, there's lots of different uh, recipes and even cake, you bake a cake in here because you can bake with it. What I like best is a chart in the back though. It shows you air cooking time. So if you want to air fry asparagus, tells you what temperature and what settings. Even if you want to dehydrate foods, frozen foods like French fries. Overall, I really enjoyed this product. The most important was the smokeless grill aspect of it. It's a really large cooking area. I could probably have fit four steaks on there easily, and it's totally smokeless. I could barely see any smoke whatsoever. I don't even think it was able to be picked up on the camera. And then it was easy to clean afterwards. Much easier than my grill outside. I could just take these and put them in the dishwasher. It's not that big of a footprint, so it's easy to put away in a cabinet if you don't want it out. So overall, I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. I really enjoyed reviewing this product and I look forward to making some more steaks on it and cooking some burgers. I'll link where you can find the product. Uh, I think it's available on Amazon and Target. Thanks for coming to another review and I'll see you guys again soon.